Hi, it's Chester Tugwa from Blue Pecan Computer Training. Uh, this is a bit of a follow-on video from uh, a previous tutorial uh, that we created uh, about using comparison operators within the counties function with numbers. Uh, in this video, we're going to look at using comparison operators uh, with dates. Now, the syntax is actually nearly the same with dates, but it's just go worth going over uh, the same kind of scenarios as that other tutorial. Um, but using dates instead. So what we've got is uh, we've got a list here of products uh, we've got the expiry date and the quantity and we're going to be using countifs on this particular uh, column in this tutorial. So we're going to look at different scenarios where we refer to the comparison operator with the cell or put the comparison operator within the formula, hard code it into the formula or we'll be going to uh, hard code the number or the date rather into the formula or refer to the date uh, within this cell here. All the different scenarios, different permutations on that. So the first one is to refer to the operator and date in the same cell. So we're going to use our countifs function and we're going to refer to this range here in column B. I use control shift down arrow key to select the range um, and F4 to make it an absolute reference. So what we want to do is use this criteria here that contains both the comparison operator and the date. I've just typed it into that cell there. All I need to do is just click into that cell, close the bracket, press return and you can see that it's counted 13 dates that are greater than that particular date. And if I copy that down, you can see it's performed those other calculations. Now, what we're going to do in the next one is we're going to have the operator in uh, operator and the date within the formula. So we're going to hard code code both into the formula probably not best practice. Normally you want to refer to at least values within the cell rather than hard coding them. Uh, but we'll look at the scenario anyway. So we're going to have count ifs. And what we're going to do is we're going to express our criteria range, which is here. And we're going to say, um, in quotation marks, greater than, and then put our date in, which is going to be the 19th and 10th. 2014 and then close the quotation mark. So please note, just like with numbers, if you're, you, if you're hard coding both the operator and the date into the formula, both of those need to be enclosed within uh, a pair of double quotation marks. We get 13, which is the same as we got in column G. Now column I, operator in cell date in formula. So we're going to refer to this but then hard code the date into the formula. So we go to count ifs. Criteria range is the same. I will absolute it on this because I can copy it down. So what we're going to do is we're going to refer to the comparison operator in column E and then we're going to concatenate that with the date. So concatenation is the ampersand symbol that joins things together or concatenates things. And then our date needs to be in double quotation marks for it to work. So you have to put the date in double quotation marks. You wouldn't have had to do that if, it, if that was a number with the date you do. Press enter and then I should let it copy down and it will work for the other uh, comparison operators in column E. Now next one, operator in formula, date in cell. So this is the other way round. So count ifs. Criteria range is the same as before. That's my column B. And um, what I'm going to do on this one is hard code the operator into the formula. Now when I do that, I'm actually going to need to put that operator, comparison operator, in double quotation marks. Okay, And then I use my ampersand symbol to concatenate or to join. And the date I want is in N1. So I just point at N1. And that will refer to the date. You can see that's the 19th and the 10th. So it's before. Close the bracket. So the only thing you have to remember there really is that the comparison operator needs to be in double quotation marks. 
last one operator and date in separate cells so we're not going to hard code either of those either the comparison operator or the date on this occasion but they are in different cells so what we will do is we refer to the same range obviously um, let's try that again so it's control shift down arrow key and um, on this occasion I am going to make it an absolute reference and then I am going to say that my comparison operator is in E2 and I need to join that so that's the ampersand symbol with the date which also needs to be absolute so that's pretty simple you're just joining the two cells to create your criteria and I can copy that down and you can see it produced the same results as the other columns so as you probably realize best practice is to refer at least to the value within a cell rather than hard coding it but here you have all your different permutations um, now there are other videos as I said already there is a, a very similar video on using comparison operators on numbers uh, rather than dates, you can check that out in our YouTube channel. Uh, you'll also better download this file uh, via the link that appears in this video. Uh, that will take you to a little tutorial page. And we're also going to do some other videos on using wildcards with comparison operators, and also, uh, sorry, wildcards with the countif function, and also uh, doing something with a case sensitive countif. Uh, as well. Okay, so check out our YouTube channel for those tutorials. Thanks very much for listening.